Okay, and finally we get to read the story jelly. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, this is posted on the virtual classroom. I just went to the link and I had to type in, when you go to uh, the weekly story, it will take you to the cover of our reading book and then you have to type in up, there, up at the very top here, it says go to page. You're gonna type in page 336. And I wrote that on, um, I wrote that as instructions on the page so you'll know exactly where to do that. But this is page 336. It says the genre is the informational text. It gives us information. That means it'll be nonfiction. All of these things are true facts. So this is uh, written by Twig C. George, and she loves nature and has gone ahead and shared her experience with jellyfish. So I'm gonna read it to you. Jellies, the life of the jellyfish. If you were a jellyfish, you would have two choices, to go up or to go down. That's it, two. You would not have a brain, so you could not decide what to have for breakfast or where to go for lunch. This is called the mangrove jellyfish. If you go to the zoo aquarium, they have um, the mangrove jellyfish there. This is an unnamed jellyfish. It said the ocean currents would carry you along from place to place. In this way, you could travel hundreds of miles. Food might pass by you and get caught in your tentacles, or maybe it won't. Sea turtles, dolphins, and whale sharks would try to eat you. You wouldn't worry about it because you couldn't. You would just float on. And this is the rhizostome jellyfish. Here's the comb jellyfish. You would protect yourself with millions of tiny mechanical cells that when touched by another animal, release a chemical and sting like a bow and arrow. You would not know if you were stinging a friend or an enemy. You would not even know what a friend or an enemy was. Jellyfish sting for protection and to catch food. That's all. They don't hunt and they can't chase. They just bump and sting, bump and sting. And here the caption of the photograph says, little fish swim in and out of the dome of this mean jellyfish. Some jellyfish sting gently. Some jellyfish have a sting so powerful that they are more dangerous than a cobra. These are the Australian box jellies. So they're more dangerous than a cobra. Yikes. This is the thimble jellyfish. A thimble jellyfish, um, a thimble is something that fits on your thumb and it looks just like it. Jellyfish are so simple that they look like plastic trash floating in the sea. When an animal eats a jellyfish, it stays healthy and strong. When an animal eats plastic, it gets weaker and weaker and eventually dies. This is the upside down jellyfish. Some jellyfish lie on the shallow bottom in clear warm seas and grow their own food. These are called upside down jellyfish. Once they have eaten small bits of algae, just once, they can grow more inside their bodies by sitting in the sun. They are their own greenhouses and grocery stores, all wrapped up in one. This is the Portuguese man of war. To be a jellyfish, you need to be shaped like a bell with at least one mouth and you have to have tentacles. Many animals called jellyfish are really something else. The Portuguese man of war is not a real jellyfish. It has an air filled bubble instead of a water filled bell. Jellyfish are almost all water and a little protein. They look slimy and disgusting when they wash up on the beach. This is called the moon jellyfish. This is the West Coast sea nettle. In the sea, jellyfish are beautiful. There are jellyfish as big as basketballs with long red tentacles called West Coast Sea Nettles. There are tiny, elegant jellyfish that look like a blizzard of snowflakes. And then it says, fact or fact and opinion. What opinions does the author give? Opinion, remember, is the way you feel, okay? How you think or how you feel about something. I think horses are the best animal in the world. 
A fact is something that you can prove. You can't prove they're the best animal. How does the author support the opinion? So support means where's the evidence? This is called the Arctic lion's mane jellyfish. There's also one of these at the aquarium at the zoo, or there's a big picture of it, I can't remember. Um, there are jellyfish that grow so big that they are as long as a blue whale. They're called Arctic lion's mane jellyfish. They pulse and drip. They eat and reproduce. They live and die, all without a brain or a heart. So they don't have brains, they don't have hearts. This is the golden Mesegis jellyfish. Someday you might be very lucky and see an ocean full of jellyfish. And since you have a brain and a heart, you would know you were seeing something unforgettable. And down here it says author's purpose. What's the author's purpose for writing jellies? And how do you know? Why did she write this story? And how do you know that's why she wrote, wrote it? So that is our story. Um, in class, we're gonna talk about fact and opinion. And we're gonna try to locate some facts in the story, which there are many. And we're also gonna try to find some opinions. So hope you enjoyed it.